Just bleep that one. Come on. Hello and welcome to the Sports Pitch Podcast. <laughs> Our team selection for the New South Wales Blues before Origin 2 in Queensland. Okay, so we're going to go through, pick our teams. Okay, these are the teams that we want to see selected. Mm-hmm. Okay, as I've said for the fifth time. Yep. <laughs> not what um, the selectors or Freddie might pick. The Muppet. The Muppet, yeah, that's why he's not going to pick him because he's a Muppet. That's right. All right, so we are New South Walshmen. We are very proud New South Walshmen. But because we why? We were born. That's right, we were born. Uh, well, I wasn't born here, but the first... I first saw you, I stepped in, in Australia, was New South Wales land. Well, like the great Spaniard did say, it's state of origin, yes. well, not origin state yes. of preference. Yeah, 100% agree. They know, they, they know we're talking about them. They know. They know. They know. They know. But anyway, so we don't worry too much about those two-headed Queensland dogs. Rats. All right. We'll go through these are the teams that we want picked again. Um, if any of these picks, if we get 1 to 17 correct, I think, you know, should be given. I up. think, well, I three of mine is... The most off, I reckon. Yeah, I think I've seen Unless you've got similar teams. and Yours is uh, way too good to get selected by Freddie. Mm. So we'll go through uh, 1 through 17, pick our teams, talk about the differences that we have. Okay, so at fullback, I'll start with uh, with you, Maui. Captain Teddy Tedesco. Yeah, I've got the captain as well, Teddy. Teddy. Yep. Oh. Teddy. you got Teddy? Teddy. All right, so uh, first winger. Brian Toto. Okay, I've got Toto as well. Door as well. Okay, then let's do both centers at the same time. Latrell Mitchell and Campbell Graham. Okay, I've got Latrell Mitchell, Campbell Graham. If Latrell Mitchell's out, I've got Crichton. Same. Yeah, so basically same thing. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to say it? Ah, uh, yeah. Latrell Mitchell, as much as I hate him, Campbell Graham, but if he doesn't play, Stephen Crichton. Okay. Who did well? Okay, yeah, he did well when, when he was called upon, but we do believe that on form, I think that's why we all put him in the team. Graham has to be there. Hundred percent. I honestly do not see him getting picked. No chance. Honestly, don't see him getting picked. I feel like he'll go with Crichton either way, which I don't mind, but Campbell Graham has to get selected. Why, why, what's going on there? You didn't say that? I literally just noticed it. <laughs> We're there for a while. We digress. <laughs> okay, so uh, they won't see it on camera, but... Hold on. They will. It's getting me hot and sweaty. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Did you get it? All right, and then we move on. Our last winger. Um, let's drop, baby. Add a car. Add a car. Add a car. Add a car. Eba. All right, so our, our back lines are pretty much the same. Identical. Okay. It's exactly. the only back line you need to go with. Yeah, it's that's it's why they're the same. A hundred percent. But let's see if uh, if a fit if there's a fit Graham, fit Mitchell, fit seventy percent because never fit um, Tom Travojevic. See what he'll do. And a crowd in there as well. Let's see what he'll pick. But I do believe this is our best chance of winning. This is the best back line you could take. And Campbell Graham is a defensive centre. Very much exactly, so. Yeah. And I highly doubt the hammer will run around, rings around him the same way he did Tommy in that first game. Yeah, he'll just grab him and throw him out every single 100%. time. I, I, don't, I don't think he'll get Too past strong. Him. Yeah, very good defensive centre. All right, move on to the halves. Big topic of debate. A lot of talk going around about the 5 8. Halfback combination for New South Wales. Start off with you, Maui. Five There's and half only one halves pairing for me, and there is nothing else. That is Cody Walker and Adam Reynolds. I've got exactly the same thing, Cody Walker and Adam Reynolds. Yep, Cody Walker and Adam Reynolds. Yeah, I, I honestly think that's the way to go. I think Reynolds is kicking game. Okay, if you guys disagree with me, you can say whatever you want. Reynolds' kicking game can control the game, okay? And Walker's running off the back of that will cause headaches. Mm-hmm. I agree 100%. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have heard the name, like we, we said in the, po- in, the <laughs> in the preview, we've heard the name is like maybe Hines play seven. With Luai. Oh, With it gives me shivers. Don't, don't. Luai gone, bro. Luai if has Hines to Hines play, it has to be six. has to be six. That's it. Yeah, and, and you'd, so, so if, if Hines was going to make this team, you'd drop Walker and keep Reynolds. That's the only way, yeah. That's the only way Hines fits in. That's the only thing that makes sense because you need a controlling half and a running half, especially in origin. You're not playing a bunch of shit kickers. You're playing a team who just mopped you in game one with a player down in the last 10 minutes. Three players injured. Where they actually yeah, won the game. Yeah, where they won the game. So you need a someone You need someone who can control the game when the game's on the line, when you're up by two, kick to corners, chase, can talk. Okay, and that's what Adam Reynolds is. So. All right? And then I've got, uh, let's name our two props. I've got Payne Haas and uh, Gerber. I've got, I've got Payne Haas and, and, and Gerber as well, but I feel like if Gerber is out or isn't fit enough to play yet, Paulo. Yeah, same as you. Uh, Payne Haas and Jerbo. If 
It does happen. Paul is in. Yeah, okay. Uh, hooker? Hooker. There's only one hooker as well. And that is Damien Cook. Yeah, I've got Damien Cook. Yep, Damien Cook. Okay, but saying that, Coruscant had a killer of a game one. Oh, he can fit in. Easily. He really played well. But it's just the fact that he, he's not an 80-minute player and it showed towards the end. because He, he was could easily have that 14th spot. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But I don't, we've, we tried that double hooker thing, like we tried to copy Queensland. And it no, didn't work. I think we should play to our strengths and not try to copy theirs. Yeah. And, Cook, and Cook does complement the halves pairing as 100%. well. 100%. So. And he complements my lock, which we're going to talk about later. Um, our two second rowers? Our two second rowers are... Liam Martin and Frizzell for me. Yep, I've got Liam Martin and Frizzell. That's who I was forgetting, Frizzell. I put Ola Kowatu in Martin because I forgot about Frizzell. Would you change to Frizzell? Yes, I will. Starting second row, Frizzell. Frizzell and Liam Martin. Liam Martin. He had a blonde at the first game. Yeah, so yeah, you can't drop Frizzell. After that game, I was questioning his selection. No, he's he came out and yeah. shut me up. He he's was one of our top that. players. Killed it, nearly scored a try. So yeah, I think he retains his spot. Now let's go 13 i got Cameron Murray to lock it all up, mate. I've got Cameron Murray as well. Yep. If he's injured, then Isaiah. Yeah, yeah I'm the same. Cameron Murray. All right, so, yeah. I, if my, uh, Murray's injured, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to go. But I do think Murray is an origin player. I don't like seeing him on the bench. He should he's be playing, a player as well. He should be playing minimum of 70, 60 minutes. Minimum. All right? So, I think Murray's a, a no-brainer. Tackles, can run, quick play the ball. That's the main thing. Quick play the ball in origin. That could literally be a, a game changer. 100%. Not just a set changer or a half changer, not a game changer, that quick play the ball. All right? And then we move on to our bench. Who's our 14? I who's your utility? My utility is Burden. Okay. I thought I was the only one that was going to go through this, but after you said that, I've got Burden as well. Oh, me too, Burden. Okay. Why, why have you gone Burden? It would have been Jack Warren for me who has retired. Yeah. Burden is the only player I can think of right now who can play in any position. Me too. Very versatile. Yeah, if Jack Wyden was if Jack Wyden was, was still in, I'd It'll have him in there in a heartbeat because yeah, he's yeah. exactly what we need. But Burden is the second best, plus he brings in that that different kick. Yeah. Okay, he's got that kick, it's a weapon. We can utilize it. But at the that end of, that kick will give Reese Walsh nightmares. hundred percent will give every, everyone every everyone point. nightmares. If they let it bounce, it's nightmares. You don't know which way it's gonna go. But as well, he can play in the halves, he can play in the centers. And he can play again. We said this in our first origin prediction. He can play in the second row. Mm. All right. We move on. Our next player is... Junior Paulo. Okay, I've got Junior Paulo, but because I said if Jerbo's out, he'll start. I've got Pangai. Um, as make, a replacement. Yeah, as a replacement. Yeah, Paulo. Yeah, okay. Uh, the only reason I have Pangai is I want a prop. I thought our bench was way too skinny. That's why I've got... Two props yeah. on my bench instead of one that we went with with uh, in game one. I want another prop, and that's why I went Pango on the bench. Uh, next player, I got Dale Finucan. Yeah, I've got I've got Dale Finucan as well. Yep, Dale Finucan as well. All right. And then our last player. Our last player, I think mine will be different to all yours, and this man is very versatile in the whole front row. Cameron McInnes. I like that pick. I like that pick. Good pick. I really do. I like that pick. I've got Hudson Young. I think give him a second go. Um, well now we can wrap him up. I've got either Kolomatangi or Olakawatu. Yeah, they, they, they're all good shouts. They're all very good back rowers. Uh, I do like McInnes. Mm. Very I, think, I pool, really very do like pool. McInnes because McInnes does front row, can play lock. And he goes hard. He goes hard. Yeah, and he can play hooker. So he covers a lot of the... So you've got Burden on there who can cover a lot of the backs. And then you've got McInnes who can cover a lot of the players in the front row and the forward pack. I like that pick a lot. Can you imagine the defence with McInnes, Fanuke and Cameron Murray on at the same time? Uh, Any time, uh, with, with your team selection, right? Any time that their subs are made, we lose nothing in defence. Mm. Which is what Origins won on. Mm. Okay? If... Oh, fuck no. Only if Freddie watched this. Well, I'm going to give him some ideas. So, I've picked Young. I just think, I th honestly believe he's an Origin player. Honestly believe so. I think you give him another go. I think 20 minutes is got very hard done by in the first game. I do think you give him another go. I wouldn't. Yeah, I know. You, you, you didn't want him in the from, beginning. From day I one. Like, I like that pick. Yeah, from day one, I haven't given Hudson Yeah, you young. said it from the beginning, him. but I just like him. I think he, he's got that grub in him. That, you know. Kaloma matangi has got that grub in him. He does, but this guy's different. But Kaloma matangi is someone who should have, maybe should have been picked if he wasn't injured for game one. 
Oh yeah, hundred percent. So I don't, I don't mind you. Sh- I actually like all our teams. Mm. I really do. I like all, all our teams. I love the pick of McInnes. If this somehow reaches Fiala, we will win game two and three. Mm-hmm. Very hard but, ask. Hmm? Very hard ask in Queensland. I think that's like yeah. But as if he doesn't scroll on TikTok and we just pop up for him randomly, like why not? He probably does, bro. I don't know. He's a weirdo. We'll tag him in it. Space Cadet. If he does. Not our followers, our family. Because we're family. I've been doing <laughs> It's right. been a long... <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, we'll, I don't know, man. I hope Fitler just opens up... Just fucking uses his brain. Picks the team on form, on def- a defensive team. Okay, and attack. Your attack will come out off it, bro. Everyone's attacked. They've been playing footy since they were fucking... Knee high to a grasshopper. Look, I, I honestly have, for you guys, I have a feeling it's going to be a shit team. Yeah. I don't know why. It's going to be a disgusting. shit team. It's going to be disgusting. But look, if you do see this on TikTok and you like our teams, tag Freddie Fitler in it. Get it to him somehow. Someone out there must know him. Show him these teams. We get like two two comments on TikTok, but let's send it anyway. Those two comments, tag Fitler. Don't worry about the comments. Surely we'll get like three, four, five hundred views. Someone out there should know Freddie. Get it to him. Because he's not going to know how to pick a team. Let me pick the team for him. I think I'll talk like that about him. If I wasn't listening. No, we love Freddie. He's our best friend. Yeah. I actually love Freddie. I love Freddie. He's I hilarious. He, I think he's funny. I think he's. I, I genuinely think he's a very good bloke. I just, just think, doesn't know how to pick a team. I just think the bloke cannot coach to save his life. Mm. He took a solid Roosters team and completely fucked them. <laughs> and now he's he's taken a. He's taken, he's taken a New South Wales team. He should have won four origins in a row. Yeah. He's won one in that's three the, That's the worst part. We're, we're meant to have our own dynasty. Brother bloke cannot coach. Just keep, him, keep him behind the camera. Keep him behind the, uh, him make front jokes. of the camera. And make jokes. And, and make us laugh. Bring back laws. No. <laughs> definitely not. That guy's too nice. <laughs> he's, he's way too nice. But clearly we'll I want this team. Oh, okay. okay. No, uh, if you don't play good, you might not get picked next time. <laughs> if you want to be there, I'll pick you. Bro. And then clearly we'll stare at him like, please don't sack me. Get out of here, bro. We need someone hard, man. I seen somewhere today, Jason Rolls to coach him. What the? F- I seen it today. I'm not saying it should happen. You know, if we had Bellamy as a coach, the run yeah, we would go on as you said. I think that the the era of NRL coaches coaching. Yeah, I know it's done. Yeah, yeah they've origins done. So what? Is it play, ex-players? Is that we'll where you go? Slater, we'll give it to please. fucking Paul Gallon. Ooh, that's not that's not bad. That sounds hectic. That's not bad, bro. <laughs> like a grub. Who would you get to coach? Who would you get to coach New South Wales? Because Freddie's going to get sacked after this. I don't care. Win, lose, or draw. He's getting sacked. That is a fucking very tough question. Let's think about it, bro. We've got time. Steve Price. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Who the sloth? Come on, bro. <laughs> Mary McGregor. Also a fucking joke. No, no, no. What, what do you mean? About you? Wait, he played, he played Origin? He did play Origin. He played Origin. He gets it. I'll shove that mic. He gets it. You don't have to be a good club coach. I think he is a bit grubby. You need someone grubby there. But I don't know who because that is that is going to be a hard task. I think that's the only reason Freddie's still there. There's only one they coach, can't find bro. someone to go in there I'd love it if and shove his it. foot up their asses. Greg Bird. Yeah. Hey, Paul Gunn and Greg Bird. I can't. I just don't like Greg Bird because I can't have someone who's. I don't think he's ever won an Origin. So. Yeah, Paul yeah, I don't think he has. He actually, played a yeah. thousand of them and lost every single one. But he's one. a grub. He's a grub. Would you bring Mitchell Pierce back from England as a coach? Mm. No, man. No. Extra I, star. Get so off hard. it. Get off that bandwagon. Who's there? Who's who's coached? I don't know. Sean Timmons. Sean Timmons. Yeah. Who's he coached the Dragons? No, he's like done some coaching in the lower grades. Do you know what would have been good? And I was just thinking about this for twenty minutes. Who? <laughs> I don't know why Blake Ferguson came to mind. Craig Fitzgibbon. If it, if it wasn't, wasn't coach for the Sharks. Yeah, the Sharks. It's yeah. a good shout, bro. I don't know where you came up with that, but it's very I good. 20 minutes of just sitting there, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to say this. Stirring in the middle? It's just yeah. hard, bro. There's no one. There's only, like, uh, you look that's at, the only you reason Freddie's still there. I honestly was thinking, I'm like, okay, who's, like, who's an origin legend? I would have brought Gus back. Thurston, Cameron Smith, Billy yeah, Slayer, hey, Darren Lockyer. Me too, it's all Queenslanders. Yeah, I it's all Queenslanders. Yeah, yeah. Like, who, who do we have? Paul Gallon? Greg Bird? Would you actually let Shane Flanagan? Yeah, why not, bro? Brett Camorley. After the Tigers, bro, I think that guy never wants to coach again. Yeah, Poor guy. They, they killed him. He yeah, lost us a series by himself. Bro. That fucking insane. He lost us a game. Which lost us a series. That's true. what I said. But, you know, he sent it. Um, what's that, uh, that hooker's name? What's his name? Danny Badiris? Danny. Yeah, it's not a bad shout. Good old Danny Badiris. I wouldn't mind Andrew Johns, but he said he won't do it. 
That's because he's cock riding Freddie. Yeah, 100%. I wish Andrew Johns would do it. Cause he's so Give it to Matty, bro. Ma- Matty Johns. No, he's Why? Too much, he's too a bunch of jokers? Because he, he says it how it is. Might as well mate. give it to Fletcher. That's even good call. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> so we get it on the... Hindy? <laughs> hey, Fletcher and Hindy running a team. I don't know, bro. That'd be rough. They'll be in the Ubers trying to, trying to get coke off of them. Bro, but their asses will come out a lot. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a, it's a very, very tough spot. I think that's the only reason Freddie's still there. If Gus wasn't didn't have a big role at the Dogs, I think he would have taken over again. No, nah, he said he doesn't want to coach again. No? You he know what I would have liked? I wish he wasn't coaching Ricky Stewart. Yeah. yeah. I would have loved him. 100%. 100%. Is there a water anywhere? That said? I said one bottle. Thank you. Yeah, no, nah, Ricky Stewart. That would have been a cracker one. He's been there, done it. Oh. I like Ricky Stewart. Ooh, Where are these Where coming are from? Arsenal fans, what's going on? Arsenal Arsenal Yeah it's very hard <laughs> Very hard It's very hard spot For New South Wales right now Man United there's, there's no one so There's no one so I've uh, been serious Joe There's no one so uh, Grubby No so like Obvious passionate. out there For us to go Yeah no. Follow There's no one that's passionate For New South Wales They're all co- they're New all The players that play for New South Wales Are passionate They're not the real coaches yeah. really There's strong. a lot There's a lot Like for example like I've still got him on my team Because I don't know Who else to put Penguai came, comes out What five years ago Six years ago if you need me, I'm here. Yeah. The Queenslanders, and now he's representing the Blues. I don't know, man. It's rough. But this is the teams that we've selected. Tell us what you think about them. How did we steer so far? In the, yeah, this is it's a podcast. podcast. Cars. We podcast. talk about whatever we want. Okay. Anything. Do you know Fruit Loops all taste the same? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Some people think they don't. Yeah, but it's, I think it's like a mind trick thing. It's not like the green one tastes like green apple, apparently. Purple, people think purple's that? berry. Yeah. I reckon if you mentally go into a cup of Fruit Loops cup, if you go into a bowl of Fruit Loops thinking the way they do, it tastes different. Yeah, maybe. Because we we eat with our eyes, just naturally humans, so we like associate flavors with colors. Yeah, we do, but I think the colors are there just for children. Yeah, I know, but like we've all got a child inside of us. Oh, I love Fruit Loops. Yeah, I don't like them. Was that one? Was that one guy? Yes. I feel feel like. Haven't you seen the video when they pour into that? It's gonna kill me, but it's got nothing to do with you. What? They're well, they're way too sweet. Honest to God. Like, they rip my throat. Nah. I feel like they're, they're way they're too amazing. much. Just like Nutrigrains. Honestly, you could just tell this guy's to scissor gills in the past. He still does. He still does. So, what is, now that we're on the topic, of, what is your favourite cereal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, lately, it's been the, what are they called? Crisp. Crispies or something? What are they called? Rice Krispies? No. No, it's like even Cocoa Pops have it. It's a, it's a, the black one. Rice bubbles? Oh, no. the checks. Is it? Yeah, checks. yeah. Honey checks. Honey checks. They actually crack. The honey checks are not normal. Yeah. Bro, recently, like, my friend even bought this wheat mix, but it's like little bites, and they've got oh, like honey. In it. Oh, oh berry. I got the fruit the berry. Oh, yeah, the berry one. one. Mm. Yeah. Bro, that was crack. That's what I'm eating right now. There's a honey one of those as one of those. Yeah, but I just like the, the fruit. It's got fruit pieces. In they are, they're, they're nice. It's really good. Have you had the it? way he looked at me, it's a, it's a bit of fruit. Because I was going to say something. It's orgasmic or something. Yeah, it was really good. Crunchy nut. goes hard. Yeah, that's, that's always going to come. Did you put honey on top? No, just crunchy nut. You don't need honey. Oh, God, on this guy, bro. I, I yeah. lo- I'm in love with honey, man. This guy, bro. We had a diabetes scare recently, bro. Relax. This guy. No, what the what? Nutrigrain slaps too. Uh, yeah, Nutrigrain goes out. I always slap. That's what you're going to say. Yeah. Nutrigrain? Yeah. When you're on Mars? <laughs> Rather. <laughs> How do you got? You went on Mars and had it. Yeah, yeah it was cracked. Anyway. Been on the Mars rover. See, I hate when I'm a goody goody because I can't do stuff like that. What are you talking what are you about? What are you talking about? I don't get to join you like that. Shit. He's talking about Mars. Like you melt Mars, you mix it in with your. Speak. <laughs> do you melt Mars and put a nutrient? You know, another one. Shit is chocolate. <laughs> Who? Mars. Mars bar. Shit is chocolate. Disgusting. Mars what? Mars, what? That's ca- Actually, it is, it you have, you're fucked. Honestly, you're fucked. No, I don't eat it. I don't eat it. Much, it does not taste the way it used to. First of all, it's, it a, it's always so like far shit. off the te- pedestal. Twix has got, was amazing. Now it's going downhill slowly. Yeah, it feels it, every Twix I have, it, unless it's a fun sized one. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, yeah that's all the amount you can have. That's yeah, it. if it's too big, it starts to taste stale. Yeah, Snickers still elite. Yeah, Snickers is cracker. If you see Mars, but you don't like it. Wow. I can't stand Mars. Milky Way needs to go. No, I like Milky Way. I used to hate it when I was a kid. Yeah, oh, I, no, I haven't had it since. No, it's really nice. Like no, Milky, what's the, the white chocolate one? Milky, oh, Milky bar. bar. Milky Bar. Yeah, I'll what's your favourite it. chocolate bar? Milky Bar. Honestly. Now, this is debatable, and they might come at me for this. Turkish Delight, off its head. 
I used to hate it. No, best, cho- best chocolate? No, 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 no best. Oh, okay. I used to hate it. I used to can't stand it. But you know how it's always the last chocolate in the favourites box? Yeah. I took, checked the favourites box, the only Turkish delight, so I tried one. I'm like, off its head. This Actually, is not yeah. bad. Huh, what, what do you think about crunchy? I don't mind it. Violet crumble better. You're pissing like me off, you. I'm, Violet I'm crumble, stopping with him. I'm going to talk to you. Violet crumble better than crunchy. I don't like both mm. of them. Same My shit. top three, right, would be, not in any order, Snickers, Picnic, and uh, Cadbury Marvelous Creations. The, what, the popping candy one? Popping candy yeah, with the little great. jellies in it. Mm. It's a good one. That one would be there, but... Elite, but Picnic. Violet crumble's not up there? I'll pick three. I'm not picking ten. Also, Violet crumble... And there's like a salty apple in there. Mm. Dark chocolate. Yeah, I, I got, my top three is uh, Snickers, Bounty, Kick. Uh, Bounty is elite. And uh, Cherry Ripe. Cherry Ripe. Fucking slaps. I yeah, love it. It's not top three. That's top three. That's hey, top it's three. pushing top three for me. That's my top three. I love three. it. What are yours? Love Just it. the ones with the high sugar hey, content. You know what? Caramello. <laughs> 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 Honestly, Caramello. As he said, slaps. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> oh, who <was> said it? <laughs> uh, it's honestly amazing, Caramello. Caramello. It is. It's a good chocolate. I love Caramello's it. It's good. not and then I've got Milky Way. Anything got to do with white Milky chocolate? Milky Bar. Milky Way is the ugly one. No. Milky Way is the blue packet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not that one. Milky, Milky, Milky Bar. Milky Bar. That one? And Mars Bar. What? I love Mars Bar. Seriously? I haven't, had, I haven't had a big one. I've had the fun size ones I lately. I can't stand Mars, bro. Um, yeah, fun size is always better. But yeah, because it's not too yeah. much of it. But yeah, I've, I haven't had a big one. Can we talk? I don't know why we veered this way. But the, chips, the ch- selection of chips <laughs> these days is disgusting. Yeah, it's gone downhill fast. I never walk in the chips aisle and be like, mm, that's something I want. Yeah. Never. Oh, well, me, because my favourite chips is back. What? Twisty zigzags. Are they back? Yeah, they're back. Do you reckon they taste the same? I had a lady. Do you reckon it they taste the same? It doesn't taste the same, no. but they still, okay. I love them. Man. I, the, thing, the chips that came back, that slaps. Burgerman. Yeah, Burger Man are crack. Are they bu- oh, yeah, they are back. Yeah, they are back. Yeah. Yeah, but it keeps saying, bro, I swear to God, Twisty Zigzag has been out for like seven months now, since, and it says limited time. Yeah, no. On back. every pack. Mate, they, they know they're selling, they're going to keep doing it. what the fuck are these cheap companies? Did you say the Twisty's new flavour? No. Raspberry. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yes, <laughs> I've seen it. Haven't what had the it yet. fuck is that? I love a Twisty, but. Not a Raspberry Twisty. No, no, just a normal Twisty. Yeah, a good twi- uh, chicken, chicken Twisty. Chicken Twisty. Ooh, really it's been a long time. Mm. Really My wife brought home a balsamic. If that's Balsamic. how you say it, vinegar, some weird purple I love it. packet chip yeah. from Red Best. Rock Deli. Best. Yeah, they're wow. cracked. Best. I they're took cracked. one because I was meant to have dinner. I took one. I'm like, nah, fuck dinner. Just had the whole packet. <laughs> Anything with balsamic vinegar and salt? There's some, a lot of chips that slap. Yeah, no, chips. I love chips. I'm a chip man. I'm more of a, you know, those delights that come in a box? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, I'll yeah, enter them more than chips. chips. No, more no, than I chips. I love chips, man. Nah. Wait, you know what burns me? <laughs> you know what burns me? Don't rush us. This is really This is serious conversation. No one cares about our New South Wales team. <laughs> That's what we started with. <laughs> we have viewed so far. Listen. This is Wumble. It's Wumble. Listen, when I watch the Americans try Australian snacks. They burn me. They try Australian snacks and then they try the shapes and they don't like them. Yeah, no. That is a disgrace. Didn't they dislike Tim Tams? Bro, that's why no one likes fucking America. Yeah, some of them don't like they Tim don't Tams. They don't like Tim Tams. How can you not? On our next episode, we're going to try American snacks. <laughs> Uh, Are you going to buy them? Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been to America. I walked into all the stores. Nothing intriguing. Bro. Snacks in Australia, elite compared slap. to... They slap compared to... Elite compared to America. But I was in... Nothing bro. even fucking catches your they eye. They don't even have that jack... What's that kangaroo shit called? Jumpies. Jumpies. They don't even have jumpies. Bro, they didn't like bar- barbecue shapes. Barbecue shapes is the fucking best thing on earth. Is that is that the best shapes? Hundred percent. No, bro. Pizza? What is wrong with you? Oh, you don't like pizza. <laughs> I like pizza. I honestly, I said pizza. Feeling back, yeah, bro. <laughs> you grab pizza if there's no barbecue. No. You yeah. like pizza? Oh, there you go. That's, pizza yeah, is you. the yeah, look. You know, if, she, if you agree with her, there's something wrong. Yes, exactly. Pizza is on the lowest no. tier. <laughs> lowest tier of shapes. Mate, she knows. She knows. Lowest tier of shapes. Pizza. What? No. Yes. No second. Chicken's not up there. Surely. Chicken no, creepies. Well, chicken creepies. Yeah, but if fighting I'm, with number one. Uh, I'm not gonna fighting with barbecue. While I'm fighting with barbecue. Please. No, you Please. Only, yeah, pizza's, no, pizza's number two. You only you. But barbecue is so far ahead, it's unbelievable. You know what? I haven't had barbecue in a long time. My, at work, it's all pizza flavoured. Okay, the whole thing. That, yeah, because there's so much of it. Because everyone takes the barbecue. Barbecue is Do they crack. say... That? The problem is, when you eat a barbecue one, it's nice and crunchy. When you eat a pizza one, I yeah, feel like they're always stale. Yeah, it does. The biscuit tastes stale, but... Barbecue. Yeah. It's so good. And then these guys try it on camera, and they can't stand it. 
What do you want? Just tell us the minute left, guys. One more minute of this video. Okay, let's wrap it up. <laughs> All right. So, again, uh, yeah, nah. Barbecue shapes. I like. Yeah. I agree. Like, let me tell you a story. You want American snacks? When I was in Dubai, I bought a packet of Pringles. They have the same ones as America do, yeah? Because they get it direct from America. Packet of Pringles, sour cream. Sour cream and onion. Like the same one here. Or is it sour cream and tribes? I don't know what it is. But the sour cream one, the green one. Mm -hmm. I tried it over there. I had one. Bro, it tasted like death. Mm -hmm. Not the same. How do you fuck it? How do you fuck it? Like, <laughs> fuck it up? Yeah, how do you fuck it up? Okay. I reckon your penis will fit into that can. I'll tell you, fly through. there is a flavour <laughs> that I've had in Dubai and in Lebanon of the Pringles, hot and spicy, the black can. Hey, I've never heard of that. Don't they have them here? I've had it somewhere, it was in Malaysia. Maybe in Malaysia. Hey, it's, I was crying but it slaps. It does. Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> do you didn't have the in kettle, Malaysia. The kettle, I think I bought them. The kettle, the kettle uh, chili chips? Oh yeah, yeah they, they pumped me. Oh, uh, speaking Ooh, of chili, so today we're going to work. Everyone knows I hate chili. Your brother gets us. Yeah, chili as well. I hate it. Mm. Give me some, give me some. Your brother buys us manush in the morning. Gentleman, gentleman move. Get chili. Gentleman move. Pumps it with chili on top. <laughs> Pumps it. I get halfway through this thing, I'm sitting in the car going, <laughs> <laughs> dying. No, he's like, what? Well, you don't like chili? He's like, I told him extra chili. This bloke had a. If you blew it, a dust of yeah, powder would have flown <laughs> off. That's how much chili this bloke packed on this thing. Hey, my brother is hard. He loves his chili. He it. does, but he's a gentleman. He's like my dad, that's right. He why. thought of me, got me a good bull and a manushi in the morning. I think he wants to kill you straight away. He's out. a gentleman. He wants to kill you. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I had <laughs> hammam straight away. Like <laughs> <I got there. laughs> hey, when, when you have chili and you shit, is your asshole burn? I think after or that. Or is that just me? That, that, after that manushi, definitely. Everyone. Oh, okay, it's good then. It's, it's called the red ring of death. Yeah, is it? Not, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. I heard if you shit after eating chili, scratch your hole and take tickle your eye, it burns, bro. <laughs> And that is where we wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. <laughs> Where'd you hear this from? <laughs> I wrote on Facebook. <laughs> so it's not from like uh, an experience that you've had? No comment. No comment. <laughs> so, and okay, so we've gone way off track. So that was our new South Wales <laughs> team for game two. We started serious with the teams and then uh, I don't know where we ended. We veered off, but that's, you know, it's our podcast. If you don't like it, you know, go click on to the next one. But if you do like <laughs> it, leave us a like. All right? We love you all. I'm joking, all right? Uh, make sure you go follow us in the, uh, check the description below to find our socials. Follow us there and have a lovely week. Peace. It's fun.